So it's been about three years since I've tried the previous version of Nucube, a very popular nootropic stack made in the US. Now, I wasn't really impressed with their first formulation, but I recently got their updated product. So I said, you know what, let's just give it a try once again. And what happened was a big surprise to me. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let's talk about Nucube, its formulation, its benefits, side effects, how it compares to other products. And finally, if you should actually try it or not. Now, Nucube is a nootropic stack developed to help you boost your brain performance, focus and memory, increase mental alertness and help you reduce brain fog. It is marketed as one of those all-in-one formulas, even though compared to one of my favorite stacks, Qualia Mind, it lacks quite a few nootropics. But before I talk about how Nucube compares to Qualia and a few other stacks, let's talk about my experience. So I've been testing Nucube for the past couple of weeks and this test period was quite interesting. Since I wasn't really impressed by the effects of the previous version of Nucube, I started this test with very low expectations. I started taking two capsules of Nucube in the morning for the first couple of days. And to be honest, I didn't really get any benefits at first. Then I decided to double the dosage to four capsules per day. Now, one problem with Nucube is its relatively low dosage of ingredients. For example, if you take two capsules, you only get 50 milligrams of alpha GPC, whereas the recommended daily intake is more about 300 milligrams daily. Now, when I increased the dosage of Nucube, something unexpected happened. I actually started feeling some effects. The effects were not very potent, but I felt slightly more focused and alert for a couple of hours. Now, it's hard to say how long the effects last, but they lasted for at least two hours. So that was quite a shock because to be honest, I didn't expect those effects. Now, can you expect something else from this formulation? Any other potential benefits? Now, to answer that, let's check out the ingredients. By the way, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go through our free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics for you. So overall, Nucube contains 10 nootropics and three vitamins. Now, if you quickly check the formula, it looks similar to Alpha Brain, which I'll soon talk about. Now, Nucube has some amazing nootropics such as Bacopa Monieri, which is great for memory, L-tyrosine, a dopamine precursor, Alpha GPC, which is a choline compound crucial for learning focused memory, L-theanine, which can help you get in the relaxed flow, and some potent antioxidants such as resveratrol, lutamax, and pterostilbene. Yes, the dosages are a bit low, the product contains gluten, and I see a few missing nootropics for peak brain performance. But overall, this formula is definitely not a bad one. Now, what I like about it is the amount of really potent antioxidants, which are very important for your brain health, eye health, they also support memory and listening comprehension. Also, besides the magnesium stearate, there are no fillers in the formula, which is quite good. But the question is, how does this stack compare to Alpha Brain? Mindly Pro or Qualia Mind. And how should you take it for the best results? Firstly, Nucube is very similar to Alpha Brain, so it's hard to say which one is better. Now, Alpha Brain contains phosphatidyl serine, but it uses proprietary blends, so it kind of depends what is more important to you. In terms of the effects, Alpha Brain delivers stronger effects, there's no doubt about it, but for long term brain health, I actually think Nucube is even better. Now, Mindlab Pro, for example, has an edge over Nucube because it contains more potent compounds, but in terms of the short-term effects, they're quite similar. Now, personally, I would still choose Mindlab Pro over Nucube because it doesn't contain Huperzin A, a nootropic compound that needs to be cycled every third day or so. Now, comparing Nucube to Qualiamind is a bit unfair because Qualiamind is a more advanced and expensive stack and it delivers way better effects but it also targets professionals with higher budgets. So, as you can see, when it comes to comparing the products, it much depends on what you're searching for and what's your daily budget. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Now, before I share with you how to take Nucube for the best effects, let's talk about its side effects. I think Nucube is quite a safe supplement, especially if you can tolerate gluten. However, it contains Huperzin A, which has quite a long half-life, which means you need to cycle it. Now, we don't know the optimal cycle period, but if you take Nucube for two days in a row and then maybe you skip one day and then you repeat the cycle, I think you shouldn't have any issues with it. However, 
If you start experiencing issues such as nausea, diarrhea, stomach pain, etc., then you should pause it for a few days. I think those effects are quite rare, but still, I needed to mention them. Now, for the best effects and results, I actually recommend taking four capsules daily of Nucube and not two. Now, if you only care about your brain health, then two capsules will do the job. But if you care about your performance as well, then I think you need to double the dosage. Now, what I suggest is to try out the low dosage for a few weeks, see how it works for you, and then make a further decision on that. Now, you can take the capsules in the morning, but also in the afternoon, uh, since there is no caffeine or any other stimulant in the stack, which is a big advantage of Nucube. Now, just before I share my verdict, how about the price? So a monthly supply costs just below $60, which I think is quite expensive for the ingredients and the dosages. Now, the company always runs some special campaigns and sales, so you may get an additional discount. But anyway, I think the product should realistically be priced at about 40 bucks or so. However, Alpha Brain is also overpriced and they don't even disclose their exact formula and dosages, so there is that. Now, keep in mind that if you take four capsules of Nucube daily for about four days in a week in total, you will need to pay a bit more for Nucube in total. So, to my verdict, should you invest in Nucube? Well, Nucube definitely has a better formula than it had a few years ago. The whole brand and product looks much better, and it even contains some very potent nootropics that their competitors don't have. If you care about your brain performance, of course, there are better products on the market, no doubt about it. But if you primarily care about your brain health and you still want to boost your focus a bit, then I think Nucube is definitely a product to try. But only if you can stand all their fake marketing tricks and stuff. So if you want to give Nucube a try, there's a link below. But if you're searching for the best Nootropic stack on the market, check out this video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.